welcome back to the Amy Kodashian and the Expert Show, where we bring some of the top experts in the world to help you transform your business and personal life. I am your host, Amy Kodashian, not, not Kardashian. Kardashian. <laughs> and I am your co-host, Stephanie yeah. Thompson. I'm a classically trained singer-songwriter. In this episode, we've been learning about the five keys to health and happiness. And this is a second segment of four segments. In the first segment, we learned about the first key, which was being yourself. And we learned that with Dr. Danielle Dupere. Yes, yes. yes. It's not the welcome. first key, it's the most the important key. Oh, the most important key. key. Okay. Key yes, to be okay. Yourself. Before we get into that key, I want to encourage everyone if you have someone who's doing good things in your community, someone who's done really good things into your life, and you like to appreciate them by by uh, wishing them happy birthday. Stephanie Thompson is here to wish them happy birthday. Yeah. All you have to do is just go to AK and the experts or you could text us right now, tell us their name. And next time we will, uh, when close to their birthday, we will announce and say, hey, this person uh, want to send you to tell you happy birthday and we, Stephanie will sing for you. Absolutely. Right. Now, let's go back to the keys. The keys. We talked about the first key that it That's takes the time. the most important, the most which important. I really talk about it as the fifth key. Yes. But there are different steps or different keys. So let me just give you the, uh, okay. the titles first. You go ahead. You have to be physically healthy. So key number one, you take care of your body. Okay. That's the only vehicle you have. If you don't take care of your body, what it's happened? not like a car. A car, you don't take care of it. It breaks down. What do you do? You buy you another, buy another car. one. Yeah. yeah. Can you do that with your body? No. Well, maybe, but we're not sure what happens after, right? Yeah. So <laughs> take care of your body. Yeah. That's the first key. So you're going to have more energy. Then you have these emotions that kind of trouble you sometimes. You get really bogged down by anger, by uh, frustration. Mm. So we need to learn to liberate ourselves from bad emotions. Yes. And who doesn't mm. have that? I mean, we, we all, all go because through. Because we're humans. Yeah, we're humans. Uh, Can no you matter who you are, you still go through this emotions. You, you lose someone or you're fighting with loved ones or whatever it is you mm -hmm. do go through emotions yeah that's how would the world be without emotion yeah because you couldn't appreciate things without mm -hmm. emotion so we need to have them but we don't want to be depressed and stay depressed for months and years and stuff so we can learn different things to, to pick yourself care, up to when you need to up. mental Perfect. fitness is learning to focus, to concentrate on what you want. You know that mind chatter you have, your mind yeah. is always cha 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 yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And you go all over the place. It's yeah. kind of mastering you. Mm -hmm. Well, let's reverse that. You are the master. You tell your mind what you, you want to yes. talk about. And then the fourth key, we talk about the subconscious. You know, there's a lot of stuff that's stored from mm. many, many years that sometimes blocks you. So yeah. we can go deeper, find out what's blocking you subconsciously, remove that block, and that helps you to live. So what you're saying is that you, you if somebody came to you and they're going through this stuff, you help them. Yeah, but I check first uncover. what they need. Okay, yes. you check in to see where they need, where the yeah, help they those, need. Yeah, exactly. I okay. mean, is it something that they are in balance with their, uh, the food that they eat? Okay. Do they have emotional problem? Are they scattered, not focused? Okay. Okay, or is there a blockage from way back from a trauma? So or you identify where is it, exactly. and then you, you, you clean that up. Yeah, I'm a holistic doctor, which means I look at the whole person, body, mind, soul, spirit. Yeah. Mm. It's not just one thing. I see a lot of people on newsletters you get, it's all about food, and if you get your food right, you're going to be well. And that's not true. And then the others, it's all the emotions, what you get your emotions it is true right. To, to, it is true to a point, but it's not just one thing. It's, it's more than one thing exactly, going on really in your life. Exactly, it's really a combination yes. that's going on. So if you can take care of the combination, and I've been studying for 40 years, doing research, having experiences that led me through the whole thing. So Now, say it one more time. How many years? 40? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Over 40, yeah. I started you young. You look so young. Thank I mean, you, really. I, and, and by the way, Dr. Danielle has... Seven has children. Seven, seven children. children. Yeah. Blessing, they blessings grown, to you. They grown, they grown, they independent. I know, yeah. but who would say you'd have 
growing seven kids. I, I mean, don't know. I didn't plan. But you take care of yourself. Yeah, you know I, I mean? take care of you, myself. You walk the walk, right? You know, I was lucky in some way. I had cancer when I was 15. Mm -hmm. And I still had a lot of energy to fight it. So I started, I was studying psychology at the time too. I was already involved in a psychology school okay. and they were also teaching nutrition and somebody said well instead of having surgery every six months why don't you study nutrition it might help you which I did and I don't think it was a nutrition it was more the detox I learned to detox of all the toxins in my body okay because I had all the vaccination I had a lot I was sick a lot when I was a which kid which kind so of cancer you had I Which had skin can cancer. Skin cancer. Oh, and okay. I kept coming back. They had to dig deeper. Oh. So I had, wow. I think, 13 surgeries for, uh, for skin cancer. Wow, in ah. that age. Yeah, wow. well, from 15 to 18. And then I started to study that, and I decided, you know, I feel fine. I don't think I need another surgery. Okay. You I'm start to heal here. yourself. I started to work on myself, and it worked for but me. But that, that's the best. That's the best person to learn from. It's not only what they read; they really went through something, mm -hmm. and knew how to pull themselves up. You see, that's that's. But key. I don't want people to think that it's that easy. It's just you change nutrition, you detox. Cancer is mm -hmm. very, very tricky. It you is. can have one thing, you change one thing, and you there find, is something else. Okay? Yeah. But some people, they have to change like ninety-eight percent of your life. Of their life mm -hmm. so will they be ready to change do they want to change first mm -hmm. and at the end of changing 98 well, percent wh what's the choices that they have if you're dealing with cancer and you're going so I mean what do you have to lose right Stephanie no, I mean, what do you have to no, lose no. if you don't There's, try there is some people who prefer to keep the cancer we wow. had a woman she was a mother and a wife and she had given her life to her children to her husband yeah and she said, the cancer, now they taking care of me. If I didn't have the she cancer. She wants the attention. She wanted the attention. Uh -huh. And if she didn't have the cancer, yeah. she wouldn't get the attention. Wow. So you have to see mm -hmm. there's all kind of you yeah. know, underground thing going why, on. Why you're having what you're having. And exactly. And, and my understanding one time you were saying, we all have cancers in our we body. All have but cancer cells, they yeah. pop in different time and uh, it's something triggered sometimes, right? Well, we have those cancer cells, but you have your immune system that goes after them and just, you know, destroys the cancer cells. Mm -hmm. So it's more asking, why doesn't your immune system? go Take after care. the cancer cell. What is it that is preventing the immune system, system from either to go seeing it, that. Mm. to find it? So that kind of like, I heard some kind, some kind of like a trick you, they're there, but you don't even know they're there. Exactly. Right? Yeah. The cancer is not mm -hmm. there. It's it's a very tricky it's thing. It's a cancer. very tricky thing. But if so you could find it, if you're prepared enough, you might have more chance, right? Yeah, and uh, Dr. Hamer is a German oncologist, did some studies that if you have a trauma, mm -hmm. it has some short circuits in your head, and if it's not healed, you can get a cancer like two years to 20 years later wow. because of that trauma. So mm -hmm. I think cancer is linked to you have toxins yeah. and you have trauma, and you put the two together. There and there might be problems. Wow, 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 wow. This is a really deep subject right here. Yeah, that's yes. a deep and we there. all need to uh, really sit back and maybe give it time to educate ourselves a little bit about it and see what can we do to prevent. We're going to talk about what we can do on the next segment. How that, that? You know what? That's why I invite <laughs> okay. you here. I knew people were going to walk away with something really good and really okay, powerful. Well, so, yeah. Yeah. so if you want to check out uh, Dr. Danielle, you, she is one of the academy on the, my academy. She's a faculty member, akandtheexperts.com. You could check out her classes there too. And we will, we, when we come back, she's going to talk about more deeper conversation. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. <laughs> 